All right, guys, things are coming together here. This wicked Nextech mono suspension is going in this Polaris IQR 800 mountain mod today. This thing is insane. It looks like it should be on the arm of the space shuttle. It's just an incredible piece of work. We're gonna get into how it works a little bit more, but now we're gonna get this in the sled because you know what? These things just look like they're made for each other. Extreme technology. Let's get it done. Now this is a little tricky by myself, so I'm gonna get my cameraman to help me out. Usually when you're putting a suspension in, you wanna hang up the back end, maybe off a tree, off or something in your garage, but we can't really do that the way our studio is set up right now because you don't wanna see the things we have going on here, the, pr the productions or the projects underway. So Jamie's gonna help me out. Easy peasy. Don't, don't go too crazy. You're all right. Only weighs 34 pounds, so it's gonna slip in pretty, pretty quickly. Keep holding it, Jamie. You got it, buddy. Good. Hold on. That's in place. You can lower that. So pull the chassis back. Okay, well, up. That thing that we said would just come right in there. Just fell right out. Now the easiest way to put this in is just to release the air, make sure all the air is out of the Fox Float air shock. I just put a little board under here and this suspension will sort of give you a whole bunch of area to play with. Make sure you use this red Loctite and use a lot of it. Kurt at Next Tech he said the more the merrier, you don't want these coming out on the trail and he's right. Right on. All right, what an awesome looking suspension. This thing is gonna be awesome to try out. I've heard rave reviews on it. Comes in at 34 pounds, which is the lightest suspension that I've ever ridden. Now this is a fully coupled suspension, very low angle of approach. And the way that it's designed, when it articulates, it always still keeps and maintains that low angle of approach. That keeps you from trenching. You don't wanna trench when you're playing in the powder. You wanna stay up on top of it. Now every component on this, very lightweight, the lightest weight materials you can get. Carbon fiber, titanium, 7075 aluminum, and chromoly, of course. The carbon fiber components on here, very, very resistant to snow buildup. And that's a good thing as well. You don't want that snow buildup in there. You want it to clear it out when you're playing in the powder. It's gonna work out awesome for you. I gotta thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you check out carbonsled.com. Check us out on Facebook. Check them out on Facebook. Thanks for joining. Nothing at all